what's going on boys so we are back today with another unboxing and today we have unmatched series four super excited to have these figures in hand especially the man right here cm punk um this is going to be a little quick one uh because i know a lot of people have already gotten these in you guys have probably already seen reviews on these guys but i'm just going to go over give my thoughts on the figures just quick um I did order two CM Punks in hopes to maybe get a chase. Did not get the chase, uh, but I do have another one that I could put on the mint on card wall that I have started for all the AEW figures. Um, but yeah, so packaging, everything looks great. Um, still don't know what's going on with the, uh, the, the cards that are supposed to be in these figures. So I know I've seen a lot of people finding unmatched or uh, unrivaled series nine in uh targets and stuff and they have the cards in the um uh, the store you know releases but for some for some reason the pre-orders and the ringside uh didn't have the cards in the packaging so really weird i guess they're gonna move those maybe to just retail only with those um not really sure but anyway so let's get into this um so we have Cody here uh, in the suit, of course. Uh, you know, a lot of people were looking forward to this figure. I was kind of on the fence about it. You know, it's it's a suited figure. I wanted to see how it was. Um, but I wasn't super, super excited for it. One of the last Cody figures I think we're going to get, I think the uh, Supreme Collection figure is actually going to be his last uh, official AEW figure. So I uh, hate to see Cody go, but I'm excited to have a Mattel version of Cody, like a more updated version so we can kind of compare with Jazzwares. Um, but yeah, so there's Cody in the package. And then we have Hangman Adam Page here. And this looks awesome. I love the shirt. I love the ostrich skin boots. It comes with all the different drinking accessories too. Looks very, very good. I really like it. And the cream of the crop, the top guy that a lot of people were wanting uh, in this series is CM Punk. You know, I, I have mixed feelings about this figure. Uh, I love I love the cloth jacket. I I like the you know the the molded uh, wrist tape. The head scan doesn't look terrible to me. The pants suck. You know everybody wants the tights. Hopefully that Walmart exclusive is going to be super easy to find, so we can have multiple of those. Um, and I've seen a lot of people doing fix ups on this, which looks really good. I'm probably going to keep mine just how it is, and then hope that we get the Walmart exclusive is pretty easy to find um so we can get more of those but yeah so let's go ahead um we're gonna do you know what what we're gonna do i'm just gonna unbox all of them um take them all of their packaging and then we'll look at uh all of them out of the packaging all right so here we have everybody out of their packaging liking what i'm seeing so far everything looks super cool um i haven't really got to you know pose them around a whole lot yet but just from the little bit that I have, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So we got Cody Rhodes here. Uh, let's see if we can. Sorry, the lighting isn't the greatest, but head sculpt looks good. I really like this uh, Cody head sculpt. Not so much on the, the like grunting, yelling one. Not a huge fan of that one, but it's all right. Uh, but yeah, this Cody feels really cool. I like the... Um, the jacket, uh, I know a lot of people were kind of upset about the long jacket, but I don't mind it. And if you see there, the neck tat is kind of poking out there at the top. But uh, yeah, this Cody's pretty cool. He does come with an AEW microphone and two fist hands. Um, really weird that Jazzwares gives a figure that um, is not in wrestling gear fist hands, but gives the wrestlers non-fist hands. I really don't understand that. I think every figure should come with fist fist hands, but whatever. Uh, you can also take that coat off of Cody, and he can kind of have like a, a long sleeve kind of look. I know it's not ideal because he, you know, the jacket really is like the sleeves, and this is more like a vest. But, I mean, it kind of works. So, um, cool thing about this also is with the AEW and Jazzwares figures, which I think a lot of reasons why people were getting this is because you can do the, the, the twist there. And you can put anybody's uh, upper torso on there and just have them in, like, some pants or something like that. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not mad at this Cody. It's it's a suited figure. It, it looks pretty good. It feels good in the hand. So, 
not super upset about that. Uh, next figure, we have the Hangman Adam Page. And really liking this figure. Again, it's it's the street gear, which I like the the street gear. I think this is really cool, um, especially for everybody. You know, Jazzwares is definitely looking out for the figure photographers and stuff here with this. Um, just super cool to have something like this. So this is a new Hangman uh head sculpt which i really like this head sculpt i think it looks really good it looks just like hangman uh the smiling head sculpt and i actually got this is kind of my uh hybrid uh series two and and series five but and we got this head sculpt here too so i thought we can kind of switch those out and see how those look but really liking the shirt uh all the details in the shirt are really really cool um you know all the uh I'm not sure what to call that. Um, anyway, yeah. He has Hangman on the belt here. It's actually engraved in there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it says Hangman on there. It's got the nice belt buckle. Uh, also, same thing with Hangman, which is really cool. You know, you have some jean legs if you want to put anybody in there. Of course, they're going to have the, the cowboy belt buckle, but that's, that's fine. And some ostrich boots there. But yeah, it looks really cool, man. I really like this figure. He also comes with a bunch of drinking accessories. So he has kind of like a cream colored can, a red can, a blue can, and another solo cup. So that's two solo cups and another uh, open grip hand. So lots of accessories for Hangman. Really, really cool figure. Really like it. Now onto the main course, you could say the CM Punk figure. Uh, so far, I haven't taken his jacket off, but I have noticed some of the the bleeding onto the figure. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, a little bit. But anyway, uh, you know, that's the that's the thing with these cloth accessories. Sometimes you get that bleeding, which sucks, but. We got cloth accessories. Sorry about that. My camera cut out for some reason. But yeah, I was saying, you know, the bleeding, at least we got cloth accessories. Uh, CM Punk actually uh, also comes with a microphone that makes two uh, already. Cody come with, came with one also. And I'm pretty sure the MJF figure comes with one. Uh, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. This set was kind of bad for me besides the CM Punk. I probably will end up getting Jade at some point. Uh, may get the MJF at some point. I don't know. That head sculpt just does not look good to me. But maybe if I find it in the store, I may end up grabbing it. Um, but yeah, so let's go over CM Punk. Like I said, head sculpt is is fine with me. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the, the flash on the camera is actually making this hair look a lot more. Um, in my personal opinion. Now, it's coming off, the hair is coming off really gray on the camera with the flash, but it's actually like a, a, a darker brown, kind of. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the hands off so we can take this jacket off. I had a little bit of bleeding um, that I can see on the torso of the figure, but other than that, it's it's not too bad. And like I said, with cloth accessories, with jazz wares, that's, that's kind of happened. Uh, I really, really like that hoodie, though. It's really cool. And with the hoodie off, CM Punk looks awesome here with all of his tattoo details. I actually really like this figure. Having it in hand now uh, definitely changed my mind about it a little bit. The tattoo details are really, really cool. He's got his Cobra Commander tattoo there. That's close as we're probably going to get ever. Um, and the Pepsi logo, same thing. Probably the closest we'll ever get. Um, but yeah, towards the bottom here, you see that ring around. He's kind of got some bleeding there. Um nothing too like serious it's not like the jake hager where it was like half of the torso was black but yeah man i really really like this he also comes with like the open hands also with the x's and the drug free on there the hoodie looks super cool he's got the his dog on the back of the hoodie which i'm sure he's really uh excited about and uh he's got larry there which is his dog's name and this little uh pin there which i think is a chicago bulls pin maybe or something like that that he has on his jacket on his uh his ring jacket but yeah man all of these figures are super super solid sorry cody's holding the AEW championship i had it with the the hangman over here um i actually do want to do one thing before we get out of here i do want to switch out the hangman heads and just see how that looks um because i do really like this smiley head sculpt i think it looks really good um oh man 
Let's see. I'm trying to get it. There we go. I actually really like that too. I think that really looks cool. The straight faced on that, um, on the body there. And then we're going to put the, oh, that's kind of loose on that. Weird. Is this the Series 2 torso? I can't remember if this is Series 2 torso or not. But yeah, that's it's kind of loose on there. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I do like that. I, I like that head sculpt. I maybe have to maybe I can switch out this uh torso with the series five if this isn't the series five. This may be the series two that I have on here. Um but yeah, I like that head, that smiley head sculpt. I also really like that straight face on that too. But uh yeah, man, all in all, I really, really enjoy all of these figures. That CM Punk is definitely super solid. I actually really like it now that I have it in hand. Um it feels really good and tight in the hand. The joints don't feel loose or anything like that, which is solid. Um I really like the cloth accessories. I really like that we're getting uh street gear, you know, suited bodies is really cool, especially for the figure photography and stuff like that. Um but yeah, man, I, I really enjoy everything we have here. Like I said, I just wanted to do kind of a quick little unboxing here since I know that I'm a little late to getting these figures, but uh, still wanted to make a video for you guys. So if you would drop a comment, drop a like, whatever you guys want to do. Um, let me know how you like these reviews. I got, I think, a, some a little bit more stuff coming soon. Um, I can't remember what I have on pre-order. I know I got Supreme Cody. Um, I didn't get the Britt Baker. I got Series 10 on pre-order, the whole set. So, of course, we'll go over the whole set once I get that in. Um, I think that's it at the moment. I think that's everything on pre-order. I haven't ordered the Jim Ross or anything like that yet. I probably will eventually, just as of right now. I'm not really interested in it, but I'm sure later on I will I will uh, regret it and pick it up. Uh, but, yeah, guys, so thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And until next time, see you later.